Hi everyone, my name is Dr. Gina Hong. I'm an assistant professor at the University of Pennsylvania. And today we are taking some scientific questions from the CF community. So this question is, should centers test all patients for the antibody IgE specific to aspergillus if they culture aspergillus in their sputum? So this is a good question. This is, question is alluding to um, allergic bronchopulmonary aspergillosis or ABPA, which involves um, this antibody called the as uh, aspergillus specific IgE antibody, which is typically found in blood work. So aspergillus in the sputum is seen in about 10 to 12% of individuals with CF according to the US patient registry. Um, but there are several studies that demonstrate that only a small subset of these patients who have aspergillus in their cultures are consistent with a diagnosis of ABPA. So to answer this question that no, I would not check an aspergillus specific IgE level for everybody who has an aspergillus culture. I would say though that if in the case that somebody has a suspicion for ABPA, meaning they have atypical symptoms or they're not responding to conventional therapies that are targeted at bacteria, that one should consider checking a non-specific IgE. And if in fact that is elevated to check an aspergillus specific IgE level, which is really important in the diagnosis of ABPA. So this question is, even if the patient doesn't have ABPA, Aspergillus can still cause many issues and it often is not being treated by CF doctors. Why? So currently there is no consensus or guideline for the treatment of aspergillus infection with the exception of post-lung transplantation and allergic bronchopulmonary aspergillosis. And this is really based on the lack of high quality data, such as clinical trials data, to demonstrate that treatment of aspergillus infection really does benefit individuals with CF. And so currently, there's been studies to investigate the true impact that aspergillus has on um, CF people. And if in the case that we find that there is in fact a negative impact on CF lung health, including pulmonary exacerbations, lung function decline, or worse symptoms, then the next step would be to design and conduct a clinical trial investigating treatment for aspergillus to see whether or not that there is in fact benefit. This question is, is there a connection between hemoptysis and aspergillus? So hemoptysis can be seen in individuals with CF in the setting of infection or inflammation or what we commonly known as a pulmonary exacerbation. This does not necessarily have to be tied directly to aspergillus on culture or an aspergillus infection. So thank you everyone for joining us and sending your questions. I had a really great time addressing some of these issues and we hope to continue tackling this by doing high quality research so we can better the lives of individuals with CF.